Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want everyone to think about a goal, okay? Something really that they really want mm -hmm really intensely to bring into their living experience, okay? Something that they really, really desire, okay? Now, I want them to make sure that when they get this goal, that it's something that you can push the envelope, but that, you're, that you, you know for a fact that it's doable. Because otherwise, you're going to sabotage your outcome. I mean, for me to program, I'm, I'm like five foot two with dark hair. For me to program to be five foot, you know, 11 with blonde hair and blue eyes, it's not going to happen, Okay? Not at this point in time. So, I mean, that's reaching out to something that you that you will find sabotaging your outcome. So it's better for you to get something where you push the envelope, go to the next level, you know, manifest something great, whatever it might be, but that you know it's possible, for heaven's sake. You know that it's doable. So that's something that I think your belief has to support you. And I want you to think about when do you want to get make, the, uh, make this goal a reality? In other words, don't just say, one of these days I'll be happy, or one of these days I'll have money. No, when? Commit to the outcome. Because if you cannot commit to the outcome, then who are you trying to kid? So you're either going to commit to it, no excuses, or you're just stop. You know, just stop right now because you're not going to go anywhere. So Desire it intensely, believe that it's doable, that you have the potential, that you're worthy, that you can make it happen, and they expect it to happen by when, okay? So once you, now that you've got that goal, we'll do the exercise. But I'm going to guide you along the way, and we want to make sure that we have a very clear picture of what you want, because clear pictures, clear outcomes, all right? So we know that. So during the time, I'll ask you questions like, what is it you want? Where will you be when you get it? Who's going to be there to give you feedback? Well, uh, when is it going to happen? Why is this important to you, and how will it make your life different and better? Okay? So I'll guide you along the way with those questions, and so you can kind of think about them right now. So it's what, when, where, who, how, and why. All right? So that will give you a very clear picture of your outcome. Once we get the clear picture, we're going to project a lot of desire, belief, and expectancy onto it, kind of like to, so we can start reeling it in towards us, like or like pull it towards you, as if you're tugging it towards you, and then you're going to step right into it. You're going to step into the picture. As you bring it closer and closer, you're going to step into it and now experience how it feels to have already arrived, to have, how, to, how it feels to have already achieved this outcome. And at that point, you're going to project outward from the area of your heart. This is really important. The coherent emotions of appreciation and gratitude. And couple, you know, tie that in with love. I'm so grateful that it's already happened. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this wonderful happening. It's amazing. And then you go into the future and notice how your life is so much different and better. All the benefits and outcomes. Always focusing on benefits and outcomes. The first thing we do before we even go through all that is to just to kind of identify your starting point. This is where I am today. I'm sick. I'm broke. I'm miserable. I whatever it is, okay? And this is you define your present situation or your present condition or problem. And then we, we erase that problem image and then we think about our outcome instead. Okay? So we can transform our problem into an outcome. Okay? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, and I'll guide everyone. I'm ready. So, okay, great. So everybody, you know, now find a comfortable position. You can be sitting or you can be relaxed, more relaxed in a lazy chair, lazy boy chair, whatever, on your bed. But just don't get too comfortable where you're going to go to sleep, all right? So, because I want you present. Um, so now take a deep breath. 
a big belly breath, you know, deep down your belly. Fill your belly with air, and as you exhale slowly, relax your body completely from head to toes. All you need to do is to notice where there's any tension and pressure, whether it's your scalp or your forehead or the tissues around in your eyes, you know, your cheek or your throat, your jaw, your tongue. Just relax them. Release and relax tensions and pressures as you go slowly downward throughout your body, relaxing your neck and spine, relaxing your shoulders, arms, and hands. And continue to breathe deeply and slowly and rhythmically as you go. Relax your chest area externally and internally, relaxing with your imagination every cell, tissue, gland, and organ, and causing them to function in a healthy, rhythmic manner. If you have any problems whatsoever physically within this part of your body, imagine them turning back to perfect functioning. Concentrate on your abdomen and relax and release all tensions and pressures in this part of your body. Relaxing with your imagination every cell, tissue, gland, and organ within the abdominal area. Breathing deeply and slowly and rhythmically. Relax your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your feet, all the way down to your toes. Take a couple of seconds to release and relax whatever pressure or tension you may be experiencing that is still lingering. Breathing in deeply and exhaling all stress, tensions, and pressures. Relax. Take another deep breath and while exhaling, relax your mind by thinking of a passive and tranquil scene. Any scene that makes you feel tranquil and passive helps to relax your mind. Experience the scene as if you're actually in the experience itself. Imagine yourself to be in the experience holographically, using your sensing abilities of what you see, hear, taste, touch, and smell with your mind. And begin to experience all the different things that you can with your mind senses in this wonderful and tranquil and passive place. What do you see and hear and taste and touch and smell? Take another deep breath and while exhaling, Allow yourself to center within in this wonderful relaxing space. Continue breathing deeply, slowly and rhythmically and relax. This is a great time to make a point of reference of being in this internal space, this spiritual subjective realm. What does it feel like to you? Connect with that. How do you experience it? How calm is it for you? By recalling this point of reference, you can go to that space faster and easier every time you practice. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. On each descending number, you will feel yourself going deeper, and you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. You may imagine yourself as if you're in an elevator in the 10th floor and it's descending towards the first floor. Feel your sense of descension as I count to one. Ten. Nine. Feel going deeper. Eight. Seven. Six. Deeper and deeper. Five. Four. Three. Deeper and deeper to one. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. It's a wonderful feeling to be deeply relaxed, a very healthy state of being. At this time, think about 
your living experience or your problem situation as it exists right now. And picture it in an area that is past your eyelids, away from you. Maybe like on a mental movie screen, like the kind of screen that you you see when you go to a theater to watch a movie. It's past your eyelids and away from you. And on this screen, project an image of your present situation or your problem situation. Just to identify what you're leaving behind. Just to identify your starting point. Just to know what will no longer be in your life. Because you are going to transform it. But study it a little bit. Think about the different thoughts that you have that have allowed this to be the case. Think about the limiting beliefs that you hold that have allowed this to be true in your reality right now. Think of the behaviors that you have that support this experience. Because in order to change anything, you will change your thoughts, your beliefs, and your behaviors. Now erase that image or imagine it getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it poofs away. And at that time, create an Im- image of what you want to de- that you want to manifest, the image of what you desire. Maybe it's health. Maybe it's financial abundance. Maybe it's the love of your life, a better job, a nicer home, a car, whatever it is. And bring that image bigger and bigger to fill the screen. And add color. Make it dynamic if you want. So it becomes so appealing and so wonderful. Look at that you in the outcome image. So accomplished. You look great. Everything is so wonderful. What is it exactly that you are going to manifest? Describe it in detail and color if if you're having a challenge picturing it. As you describe it, it becomes more vivid and clear in your mind. So describe it, picture it, feel it, sense it, whatever it is. What is it you want? Where will you be when it manifests? For some of you, maybe it's going to be at the doctor's office or at a bank or at the job or maybe it's a legal setting, whatever. Where will you be, if it's appropriate, where will you be when you manifest that goal? who's going to be there to validate that you have arrived, that you have already achieved it, a loved one, family members, coworkers, a legal setting? Who? Who's going to be there saying, oh, what a wonderful job. You did great. It's amazing. You did it. You did it. You said you would, and you did it. When is it going to happen? You need to commit to the outcome. Give yourself some kind of a when that's concrete, by the end of next quarter, the mid, mid-year, in three weeks, the next time you go to the doctors, when? Why is this important to you? I want to know your real passion. Why does it mean anything to you that you want to, make, to manifest this outcome? To have a better life, to live with love, to help and serve others, to be able to be of greater service to the world at large because you deserve it? It's just about time. And in your mind, how will this make your life different and better moving forward? In other words, imagine moving forward to to opportunities and, and benefits that you'll be gaining because you have already manifested this goal. What does it mean to your living experience? Picture all that on your mental screen. It looks so good. Life is great. You're amazingly wonderful. You're fulfilled. You're happy. You know how you did it. You change your thoughts to be more positive and and proactive. You change your beliefs to be more open to bring in the reality that you want. They're very open and, and abundant beliefs. You change your behaviors to support manifesting this outcome. You know what you did. You know how you did it. And now you've made it happen. It's wonderful. Project intense desire and then top that with belief and expectation. I really desire this. I know with a, without a shadow of a doubt I'm going to make it happen and it will happen. And imagine drawing that image 
that image of your creation, of your manifestation, closer and closer and closer and closer to you, with a lot of desire, belief, and expectancy, and now step into that you in the image and become one with it, allowing your body, your brain, and your mind to memorize how it feels to think differently and better, to believe beliefs that open doors of opportunities, and to have behaviors that support this existence, this accomplishment, you have arrived. How does it feel to have arrived? What do you picture? How does it feel inside and outside? How is it going to make a difference in your life? Notice how much lighter and happier you are because you have already manifested this goal. In a past ten sense, it is a done deal. It only gets better and better through time. You know what you did to manifest this, and you are going to repeat this creation over and over and over again in this process for other things that you want to manifest. Imagine your life being one series of manifestations after another, one after another, because you are in flow. You know how to do it. You know what to do, and you can repeat the process, and life gets better and better and better through time. Take a few moments to express outward from the area of your heart, to fill the space around you completely with intense uh, gratitude, intense appreciation for having the knowledge, the skill, the ability to make manifestations, to manifest and create, and for having arrived. You have reached this goal, and better is yet to come. Express deep gratitude, appreciation, and love for just having been able to have arrived. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Allow a few, uh, for a few moments for your body, bring your mind to get truly connected with this experience. And lock it in. You can press your thumb and following two fingers together, together, the tips of those three fingers together, the, the thumb, the pointing finger, and the middle finger. Press them together and say to yourself mentally, whenever I have a need or desire to feel this way, think, or believe this way, all I need to do to recall this wonderful sensation of, of manifestation is press my three fingers together and it will be so. Now with this wonderful accomplishment, a sense of achievement, take a deep breath. Hold on to this experience and open your eyes and continue to picture it in your mind, in your theater, in your mental screen. Continue to picture it only with your eyes open now for 10 seconds. I desire it. I believe it. I expect it. It's mine, 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 mine. I picture it. I picture it. I picture it. It's mine, 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 mine. Now blink. Focus, and now you're back. You with me? Wow. Okay, we did several things here, Darius. We did the the (laughs) meditation, which is very powerful. It's very powerful. And at the end, you also experienced it with your eyes open and defocused vision. Continuing to picture the outcome image with intense desire, belief, and expectancy. And that's what you can do any time during the day, whenever you think of this goal, press your fingers together, defocus mm. your vision, picture the outcome image and say, I want it. It's mine, 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 mine. Yes, yes, yes. I believe it. I believe it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Ten seconds of that throughout the day will make that a reality faster than you can think. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly 
energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.